up no more of that. But there was a rumor in the press that um, Stephen had got a part in Baywatch. So we were sitting doing a radio interview, and the interviewer said, "So Stephen, I believe you got a part in Baywatch." And Shane went, "That's a feckin' Lilo." <laughs> We laughed. Wrong. Big mistake. He didn't talk to Shane for two weeks. <laughs> it's great now, four years on, God rest them, that we can talk now and remember the great times, the memories that we have. It really is. You've given us that chance. You, every one of you, have given us that chance. When we got back together in 2007, none of you might have came to see us. But. The years we had together, 2008, 2009, were times that we appreciated but didn't realize they were going to be some of the most important memories we'd ever have. And thank you for that. On behalf of the four of us, thank you for that. And um, there's a beautiful story that Mikey's going to tell you. Thank you, Pete. Thank you. Off you go, Michaela. Um, Listen, we could sit here all night long and tell you about fantastic stories and fantastic times that we've had with Stephen over the last 20 years. But the one that I like to share with the audience each night is something that happened quite recently when we were up in Doncaster rehearsing for this tour. People from Doncaster, hello. Um, anyway, up there we use this big warehouse that we can set up the whole stage and run all the technical uh, aspects of the show, make sure everything's working fine. Now, as we know at the moment, this time of year, we're, it's way out of seasons for Butterfly. And uh, butterflies are something that Stephen was quite interested in, he, he, uh, he had a, a love for them. And we had this strangely beautiful moment whereby in the darkness of this building, as we were rehearsing the song, gave it all away, and Stephen's vocal began, this magnificent butterfly just out of nowhere flew on stage between myself and Ronan as we were performing the song. And, uh, you know, we both kind of looked at each other in shock, really. But it, I don't mind what people want to believe, but I like to believe that that was quite symbolic of Stephen's presence still amongst us and still with us, because it was, it was just far too, too strange a coincidence to happen. Um, and that's the story that I want to share to you, so still, still with us, like I say. Such magical stories.